In this lesson, I will show you how to create an interactive activity in Moodle. Once again, we are logged into our Moodle website. And first, we need to click on our first course that we've designed. So let's click on Systems Technologies. And here we are in our course as on Systems Technologies. In our previous lesson, we've created the book activity on types of computers. In this lesson, we'll be creating an interactive activity. So first things first, let's click on Turn Editing On. So next to the gear icon, Turn Editing On. And once you see the pencil icons, you'll know that editing is turned on. So we are creating an interactive activity in our types of computers in this topic. Okay, so let's click on add an activity or a resource. And for this lesson, we'll be creating an interactive content. So let's click on interactive content and you can read there. Let's click on add. And this will add the interactive content to our lesson. But first we need to modify the interactive content. Okay. In the first window, we can uh, provide a description for our interactive activity. And we can choose to display it or not display it in our course page. Under our editor, here we can choose what type of interactive content we want to create. And for this lesson, we will be creating a course presentation. So let's click next to the course presentation, click on Get. And then click on Install. And here you see the message course presentation successfully installed. And now we can click on use. First, we need to complete the title of our presentation. And let's type in types of computers. So this will be the title of our presentation. And here in this window, we can add slides. So let's add the first slide and I'd like to begin with an introduction. So let's add an introduction. So here on the image icon, let's click on it. And here we can add some alternative text. So the first thing will be the introduction. So let's click on Add underneath Image. And let's move to our desktop in our folder. So we will start with a topic heading. So let's click on the topic heading and click Open. And the image will be uploaded. And I have a chance to edit the image. But I'll leave it as is. And when I'm done, I click on done. And here's my slide, my first slide. So this will be my first slide. And let's add another slide by clicking on this icon, add a new slide. Again, let's insert an image. Let's give it a name. And this will be our introduction. Let's add an image and now we select the introduction. Click on open. The file is uploaded and click on done. Okay, there's our second slide. Let's add another slide. Let's upload an image. And we call this our first topic. It's supercomputers. 
This will be our first topic and this will be an introduction to supercomputers. Let's click on add and here's our introduction of supercomputers. Click open. It's done uploading. Click on done. Let's just increase the size of the slide. And let's add another slide. Call it supercomputers. Add an image. Let's add this one here. Wait till it's uploaded. And then click on done. Let's increase the size. Okay, and let's upload the last slide. So we click on add a new slide, click on add image, add, uh, upload the second one, open, give it a name, There it's done uploading and let's click on done. Let's just increase the slide size. And there. Let's look at our slides by clicking on the gray area just underneath the slides. So it's slide one with a topic, slide two with the introduction, Slide 3, starting with supercomputers, the text. And then slide 4 and slide 5 will be images on supercomputers. So now that our information slides are done, let's add another slide, but this time we'll add a question slide. So let's click on Add New Slide. And in the top menu, you'll see there's a multiple choice icon. So let's click on it. And here it provides us with options. Let's add a title. Say so choose the correct answer. So my question will be, I have some questions prepared for this. I'll just paste it in here. My first question will be, which of the following computers need to be kept in an air-conditioned place? Okay, now, this will be my options. So my option A will be a laptop, and it's not correct. And here, I can provide some tips and feedback. Okay, let's provide a tip. Okay, so here's my tip on laptops, and when they choose this answer, I will provide them with the following feedback. Okay, the next option will be personal computers. Let, let's add a tip.
This will be displayed when they select the answer. Okay, let's click on add an option. The third one will be and this is the correct answer. So we check the box next to correct and we can provide a, a tip And we provide some feedback for them. Okay. So that's it. And we can select here from ranges of scores. But let's leave this as is. Let's click on done. And here is our multiple choice question. Let's move it to the left and let's just increase the size. That's it. And what I want to do now is I want to add a picture here. So let's click on image and we want to upload an image as a nice image click on open and then click on done let's drag it just next to a multiple choice question That's it. Okay, let's click on Save and Display. And here we have our interactive content. So let's go through the slides. The second slide, the third slide, fourth slide, and the fifth slide then a question multiple choice question which of the following computers need to be kept in an air-conditioned place let's look at so in here you'll see a tip so the learners can click on it and they can actually read a tip that can guide them in the correct direction let's click on here another tip here select the correct answer check and that's correct and there's our feedback well done your answer is correct okay and that's our question slide so let us create one more slide so we click on the gear icon click on edit settings and we're back to our slides Okay, so let's add another slide. And now in this slide, I want to show them uh, some YouTube videos on supercomputers. Okay, so here is my video. I can insert my video from here. So let's just go to YouTube. So yeah, I have my vi YouTube video that I want to add. So what I need to do is, I need to click on the title of the YouTube video, right click, copy, go to my Moodle site, click on the video icon, click on add file, and then in this box here, paste your YouTube link. So click on it, control and V on your keyboard, and it will paste the link in here, and click on insert. 
It will then be uploaded. Let's give it a title. The title will be Supercomputers. And let's click on Done. So here's my video. I can move it around. Okay. Can decrease the size or increase the size. And I want to add another video next to it. So let's go to YouTube again. I want to add this, the second one here. So I want to add this video next to the other one. So I just click on the title, right click, copy, go to my Moodle site, click on the insert video, click on the video source or add file, click in the box here and paste my URL there, my YouTube URL, and click on insert, give it a name, and click on done. Let's drag it to the right, just decrease the size so that it's more or less the same size. That's it, and move it to the right. That's it. Now we can add some text here. Let's add some text there. These videos will demonstrate how super computers work. Watch it carefully. And answer the questions on the next slide. Okay, so that's that. Let's make it bold. Let's add some color in it. Let's make it there yeah. and let's leave it at let's choose heading two in the center. Okay. That's nice. Okay, let's click on done and just drag it to the top. And just move the videos down and then just can make it a bit smaller. Let's make it heading three. Okay. That's it. Nice. Okay. Hmm. That's nice. Okay, so after they watch the video, I want to add another question slide in here. So let's click on add a new slide. And now I want to use the multiple choice question again. So let's give my question a title. Choose the correct answer. And my question will be which one of these would the weather station use to analyze weather patterns? And my first answer will be supercomputers. And that's correct. Let's provide a tip. There's our tip, and when they select this answer, I'll click on uh, correct. Well done. Okay, let's choose mainframe. 
computers is not correct. Let's provide a tip. Okay, and when they choose this answer, I'm going to provide them with some feedback. Okay, and let's add another option. Choose laptops. This is not correct. Let's provide a tip. Let's provide feedback. No, this is not the correct answer. Okay, let's leave it there. Click on done. And there's my multiple choice question. And here I can add a background image if I want to. Okay, but let's leave it at this. Okay, let's click on save and display. And here I have my slides. Let's look at the last slide. Or let's look at the seventh slide. Here's my videos, and now they can watch the videos one by one. After they've watched the videos, they can move to the multiple choice question. Which one of these would the weather station use to analyze weather patterns? Let's click on mainframe. Check. No, this answer is wrong show the solution and the solution is supercomputers that's the correct answer and that is how you can create interactive content in your course